China-Switzerland ties boast many firsts. In 1980, the Swiss Schindler Group and its Chinese partner set up the first industrial joint venture in China. In 2007, Switzerland became one of the first European countries that recognized China as a market economy, which laid the groundwork for a free trade agreement. And in 2013, the bilateral free trade agreement was endorsed, making Switzerland China's first free trade partner in the world's top 20 economies. No matter how the international situation changes, China and Switzerland have generally kept steadily developing relations. There have been frequent high-level exchanges. Every year, members from the Swiss Federal Council visit China. In turn, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang paid two trips to Switzerland since May 2013. This, on the one hand, shows the high quality of the bilateral relations, and on the other, shows that the two nations attach importance to such relations. And it's yielded fruitful results. China is Switzerland's biggest Asian trading partner and its third largest in the world. The free trade agreement which took effect last July could give greater boost to bilateral trade. Switzerland is also one of the first European countries to join the China-led Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. And in January 2015, the two nations signed a deal to set up an overseas yuan trading center in Switzerland. China Construction Bank is poised to open the first Chinese bank branch in Zurich for future yuan clearance. It will be more convenient for investment and cooperation in Chinese and Swiss business circles, and I think that will push forward pragmatic cooperation. Strong ties are also reflected on a cultural level. Chinese visitors to Switzerland exceeded one million last year, and China has become the largest source of Asian tourists to Switzerland. The ambassador says the two nations strongly complement each other economically. She says there's great potential to tap into as the two carry on their sound cooperation and explore new fields. Bang Duxuan, CCTV.